hey guys and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to thailand to phuket and i'm going to take you with me i hope that you like this video and will find it interesting by the way guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section down below do subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it and follow me on my instagram account which is the same as my youtube account black and gold style and please also consider checking out my other playlists i posted quite a few videos about cartier van cliff and appels bulgari rolex luxury tips and mistakes dior jewelry weekly vlogs style and fashion, Chanel bags, luxury shopping vlogs, beauty products and travel videos. Actually, it's not my first trip to Phuket. I just came back from another one. We spent quite some time there and we were just so exhausted from not traveling for over two and a half years that we literally did nothing. We just stayed by the pool, we went for massage, we ate and nothing else. But this time we are planning to do more interesting things, we want to see more islands and of course I'm going to take you with me. The weather is so lovely, it's about 26-27 degrees at the moment, but it's breezy so it feels quite comfortable. We're just gonna go to take a walk to the restaurant and have lunch. We stayed at this resort several times. It's located at Macau Beach, which is not far away from the airport, which is great because I don't like to have a long journey from the airport to the hotel. I think past 10 years we stayed at Macau Beach because it's so convenient. We tried several hotels there. All right, it's a lunch time. Let me show you our meals. I'm having salmon with noodles and my husband is having chicken with some grains, kimchi and other vegetables. I wanted to show you our beach and I love that it's so close to our villa. It literally takes a couple of minutes just to walk. It's so empty, there is no one. At least at the moment there aren't many tourists, but I think a lot more people will start traveling in the future. Thailand has just cancelled their restriction to wear masks indoors, which is great. We still have this restriction in Singapore. I'm going for a massage and I decided to go for Thai. At least it doesn't require to apply moisturizer, which is great because I'm trying to avoid that. I have been quite sensitive to various skin products, various creams, so it's best to not to apply anything. I would literally have to put something like a pyjama, which is great. And of course, I'm not going to make it very hard. I ask them for a medium one. Ginger tea with honey. It's super tasty. This place is so relaxing. I feel like I'm going to miss this place when I come back. The weather has been quite good. It's quite sunny. Although it rains sometimes, but the rain doesn't last. And this is our lunch. I'm having a pad thai with vegetables. And this is another salad bowl with chicken, vegetables, red rice, and some ginger dressing. This is the pool area. It's quite empty. We moved to another villa. This one is more comfortable. I'm just going to change and then we can go to grocery store because I have been craving for my favorite banana mochi ice cream. I'll show you the room. Actually, last night at about one o'clock, it started raining so hard. There were so many leaves, but they cleaned them up. But at least the weather is nice and sunny right now. The bed is quite comfortable. It's a king size 
and here is a bathroom i won't show you other items because we have lots of our things here we are at this place called turtle village and it belongs to anantara hotel group they have a grocery store there are cafes shops with souvenirs and there are also some stores with some clothes and some shoes i actually need to buy a pair of flip flops and maybe i will look for a beach bag because we are going to go on a boat trip and here is my favorite ice cream it's so delicious actually other ones look quite good as well but i'm going to get mochi actually this is how mochi looks so tasty we are on our way back we are just going to arrive to hotel and then go for dinner all right for dinner we have some tom yum soup some steam fried vegetables my husband is having some pad siu with beef pad siu is basically rice noodles and we also have pad thai and this one is with shrimps and the egg on top there is also mackerel food in thailand is just the best i absolutely love it dinner was delicious but now we are going to our villa but i wanted to show you a super cute frog it's so tiny look at the size i didn't even notice it at first it's so small today is the next day i wanted to take you to breakfast with me i wanted to show you what is available i'm actually not a huge fan of having breakfast i prefer to have a brunch or a lunch unless i wake up super early but because we are going on a trip i better to have something to eat i'm just gonna show you everything that is available and my favorite things i like fresh juice you can choose which one you want you can even ask to customize there are some that already prepared if you don't want to wait but today i feel like having coffee instead also there are some cereals i'm actually not a huge fan of them but it's nice to check out what's here you can also have oats but you know what my favorite is fried rice with vegetables and egg i don't eat chicken and other things but they look good they also have some noodles you can choose which one you prefer and there are also some condiments you can have pork porridge or you can add steamed rice here are more condiments i guess you can use them for porridge or for noodles as well chicken rolls green curry you can have some waffles you can also make yourself a toast some pastry also they have several types of bread and there is also ice cream different flavors they look quite interesting i'm going to have some omelet i already ordered a guy's making it for me with vegetables and cheese and they also have an eggs benedict with sea cucumber maybe i should try it next time some salads there was meat as well there is also cheese and yogurt and some condiments for the yogurt. Someone called Bilip. Uh, this word is not Thai word, it's from the Malay, Malaysian. It means the room. Here is a long and wide lagoon that's raw by the cliff. It's why we get into the room. Only one way to get in and out. In this way, out, same way. Right now it's just about like three meters. And in there, it's like a cliff, like a hole down under, up to 15 meters. This place is so gorgeous. I think last time I came here with my parents, probably about 10 years ago, if not more. It has been ages. And actually these islands were closed for over two years because of the pandemic. And they also changed the corals. While we saw a few boats, it's still not as busy as it was in the past. We have just arrived on the PP island and by the way, the boat was not allowed to park at the usual spot. We had to enter from the other side because they don't want to ruin the corals. 
This place is just so beautiful. And by the way, the movie Beach was filmed here before. This place is just breathtaking. 10 years ago, there were a lot more people. You couldn't even take a proper photo. It's definitely better now, but I think it's going to change in the future. We spent about 45 minutes here and we are going to go to another island where we will have lunch. After that, we are going to the Monkey Island to have a look. And we will also have a stop at one private island. Now we are waiting for the boat to board. Alright, here is the Monkey Island. We are not going to leave the ship, we are just going to look at the monkeys. And this time we can't feed them for some reason. We can't come too close because they can actually jump on the boat. There are several of them here. I saw at least three. One, two, and there was another one. So cute. They are walking and thinking who are these crazy people looking at them from the boat and whether they have any food for us, which we don't unfortunately. We will stop in another spot for snorkeling. Can you see fish? They're quite small. The depth is about 3 meters. There are also some boats nearby. Little crab, probably scared of us. We are going to go to have some lunch. I'm actually so hungry. <laughs> this island actually has a few hotels and I saw quite a few people as well, mostly in their early 20s. And this is our stop. This is a private island. Actually, we were supposed to go to another place, but the weather is quite bad. It's going to rain soon, so we had to make a stop here instead. There used to be some shops, but unfortunately, because of the pandemic, everything had to close. And the owner of this island is selling it for $180,000, Singapore dollars. I mean, the whole island for $180,000, it's so affordable. But then you have to maintain it, make sure it doesn't go under the water. Anyways, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account black and gold style have a great day and i'll see you guys next time bye